going on what's going on i'm up on a saturday morning i'm gonna give another video give my piece on some things uh give my um um, um my uh judgment on um this name of this video is going to be fulfill the prophecy and uh what i mean by that is just um fulfilling it man like you know the things that you envision the things that you um have that enlightens you to you know be a a dog breeder and um and you want success and you don't have to uh you know you don't have to be like everybody else to have your success your success can come from just a little small amount just like a little small um business or whatnot um you can come and you know how small business it takes a while for them to grow but they still got quality stuff that's just me so i'm just like pretty much like a small business right now and uh you want to get out okay um let me see wait find your shoes first but uh i'm like um the small business you know trying to fulfill uh, um, you know fulfill um a gap in between the rest of the competitors, you know what I'm saying? And so, and I ain't challenging nobody but myself when I do that. So that's what I'm fulfilling. I'm challenging myself. Um, I'm challenging uh, my dogs to be what they are, to live up to what they are. Um, you know, um, and, 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 and. Nope, the other way. The other. The other way. Yep, so the name of this is it's gonna be fulfill the prophecy and uh so really what I came to this while I was thinking I had one last night a really good topic on some things that I was gonna talk about but so how I was just texting and um I was uh um and it went off the video when I was talking that I was talking that I was driving home but anyway so this basically this video is just gonna break down some of the you know some of the Williams dogs I had to go back from seven generation on back up to six to fifth to get to understand really how them dogs were bred and um, so it, it's primarily you know it's a it's a Eli Maitland Outlaw cross then it has um, some other dogs like the Houston um, Super Smoker has uh, Kobe Alonzo and Eli Jr. cross so that's what I can base that off of but then when you try to go the rest of them dogs did not pick up but they got um that um rights um ace abby dog in red so to me so if that dog's in red it must she, she must have been a good producing dog a good producing female so um you know just taking the time out so I'm trying to fulfill that prophecy for it get some of them old dogs that was back when I got back up in 2012 and um when I look at some of the Williams dogs I can go down where he's he done bred some good dogs and and they bred a lot of the dogs some of the wild side they bred it to that um they bred some dogs to the um the uh the Bull Hills Red Bullet which that's the old wild just the old family red nose stuff and so they bred it they mixed it in really good and um so I'm just trying to fulfill the prophecy to bring that my old line back and then intertwine it with the, you know, the Sinclair Bud, which I've been doing good. Um, your tablet's in there, which I've been doing good if you want your tablet. Cool. Why? Okay. Um, which has been, you know, which has been going phenomenal. Cause like I say, that cross was made, man, every dog men that's getting these dogs or, or want to have be a part of what we got in our kennel they i've been just getting good good results so i'm kind of refilling uh filling the prophecy on that but i'm still trying to evolve i'm still trying to get better as an individual as a as a breeder you know i don't i, I don't lost but i didn't i didn't lose so it was just pretty much like a lesson in one of my other videos so all I'm just trying to do is just fulfill that prophecy, man, and I know I could do it. And these puppies right here that I got for my nephew, they didn't even supposed to be here just because of the, you know, the carelessness 
but now I'm going to take full advantage of it and um, and see how these dogs turn out in the long run. I think they will turn out good. And uh, one of the biggest things I don't learn uh, over the past and to be able to help you fulfill your prophecy is, is time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. You don't got to put a dog and rush him out there to be something. And, and sometimes these dogs, we already know, sometimes these dogs, they, they'll they say they this and really... And, and and they really not that what they say. So, you know, we we all get good and bad. We already know that. But thing of it is, man, when you're trying to fulfill a prophecy, you got to, you know, you got to go through the selective breeding part. You got to, you know, kind of go through the, like what I like to say is the um, examining and, and monitoring your dog. I'm talking about just to the full extent and seeing what these dogs are capable and what they're not capable in. And that plays a really, really big part of you fulfilling the prophecy of what you're trying to do. But my prophecy is just try to bring some of my old blood back up because what I had back then, man, it was solid stuff. When I say solid, it was solid. But I didn't never know how these dogs were bred until I had to get the research and I got a seven generation. You want your scooter? Uh, uh, is it still in here? So I've been doing really, really uh, extensive research on um extensive research try to stay on this side right here try to stay on this side of the you can stay on this side right here look stay on this side i'm gonna be walking with you so um so trying to do um really you know extensive research to really get to understand how these dogs bred because when i purchased these dogs uh really well when they when they was gave to me really so because my cousin he got into breeding um the bully i mean not the bullies but the um the razor's edge and um so um he they wanted that and they wanted to give out uh you can get out of the game bred dogs or whatnot so i was able to get that and so and <clears throat> he used to tell me like man you got a kobe dog so i'm like so that's what i went by what he told me what what no just walk right here we just i'm gonna let you i'm gonna stay right here and watch for the traffic so nothing can't come but um but yeah, we can walk if you want to. You want to walk? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, and so once I started really doing the research and started understanding, I started seeing a lot of stuff like the Buck, the Mickles Buck, Wild, the Mountain Man Bandit. I seen a lot of um, <clears throat> Tombstone Bolio in the back, like down up in the seven generations uh, from the, um, the, the Crumbs Cremator, all that stuff. So I had some really good dogs, but. Um, a lot of times, you know, and I was still searching, but I was still digging. And also I was just still learning about, um, I was still learning about his line too, just as well. So I'm trying to intertwine all the, this, you know, his line, trying to learn about it. And then my line, seeing if it's going to go together good. And so I'm still at a place right now trying to figure out what's really making these dogs really click. And what's really making these dogs good because you got to know that down the line. You're going to have to know that what made really. So either I'm thinking it's just a really good brood stock or I'm just thinking a lot of times them dogs are matching up. Like, the you know, the Budweiser stuff, it has the, the Bolio Tombstone stuff in there. And then, you know, the Slim Jim line has a lot of the Bolio Tombstone back in the eighth, ninth. I think it's probably like the eighth generation got a lot of the Bolio Tombstone in there. And, um... So I got Lonzo in mind down up in the seventh generation through the Mark's hammer. So maybe I'm just thinking all these dogs are um, just coming back together because no matter how far that they is back in the line, they can still connect with each other when, when it's bred together, especially how, how concentrated that blood is. So and I'm, I'm just thinking that and I got pr uh, primarily, I mean, uh, not primarily. Um, I have uh, 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 predominantly Eli back on on the top, uh, way back off the Williams dogs, back up in there through the uh, the Ellis Twister dog, heavy bred Eli dog with a Metlin, um, a Metlin Outlaw cross right there. So, so basically, all I just say now, and when I'm just giving a description of. Um, people ask me i just say williams dogs you know what i'm saying so because really I, I i i can break it down and say this got this in here so, 
You don't want to walk up farther? Hmm? Okay, stay on the side right there, but I can I can say um them dogs are bred like that uh predominantly that that like that four-way cross in the back. But then you go further and some more dogs in that generation that's down in the back on the seven. A lot of them I try to look up. They they're not um they're not on there. So, you know, then you get the question, but I can find out. So all I gotta do is just call the the, the A B D A, you know. Get them to do a seven generations, another seven generations behind them dogs and see what they got. And then sometimes it's going to be unknown. So you're going to get what you get out of them dogs. So I just don't try to, you know, battle myself with that and try to, you know, wreck my mind with um, trying to figure out what. So I just say Williams dogs now, but I know where they pretty much come from. What, what's the type of blend they came from? And obviously they had to be at a certain level or a certain um, 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 family core dogs for them to be good because, you you know, back in the day, them old men, they not going to, they not even old uh, uh, women was getting involved. They not going to breed nothing that's trash. And that's what they was big on. They took pride in not breeding just anything. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, you know, they, they wasn't going for colors back then. They was pretty much going for, for you know, um, the, the, the body, the build, the, uh, the, the, how these dogs was constructed as far as the size of the head, the body, you know, the big bone, all that stuff. So that's what they was pretty much going for. And, um, you know, I think we need to really take more time out to to uh, do that now with these dogs instead of just, just breeding anything together and thinking you just going to say this, you think you, um, these dogs are going to come out to be what they what they supposed to be and they're not. So... And a lot of times we know what we breed. So now you say, man, these dogs ain't number breed not garbage because they, they just that in the third, you know. And, and 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 another time thing too, what I don't learn, it all depends on what you breeding for. If you know these dogs, what, what? Um, if you know these dogs aren't capable of of breeding what what you put in place, then you shouldn't do it. But then again. No telling what you're trying to breed for. If you're just breeding for family dogs and they, you want them to act temperament, that's what you're breeding for. But a lot of people don't give a good a good description of what they're breeding for. And so a lot of times that just get mislabeled, get miseducated on because... Why are you so Yeah, because she's getting exercise like we are. And um, so... But my thing is to um, fulfill. Okay, my thing is that I'm trying to fulfill the prophecy of getting my old blood back in there and add it, and um, and and then keeping it keeping it at a high level, keeping it at a good percentage, and also um, crossing it with some other stuff that I think that'll 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 complement it or implement it uh, enough to keep it competitive. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fulfill that prophecy or whatever. So, um, so, uh, but that's what we're going to do. And that's my main common goal to fulfill that prophecy. And uh, so, yep. And I think it's going to be done by the help of, you know, other people. Not saying that I, I need their help or anything like that. But at the end of the day, everybody needs help to do something. We're going to use a, um, a good question of what Tom did. Tom did what he did. He bred, but also he was able to come back and get dogs and buy dogs back from people that don't put their time and their hard work. Huh? It's all right. We can walk our way up here and walk back. Um, and what he did, how he did it with a, a mastermind. You know, so everybody need help, regardless of he say, he didn't really have no help. He still had help at the end of the day, because you think about it, even though he bought what he bought back, but at the same time, it still take the owner of that dog, whoever purchased that dog for them to be able to make a, a champion. What? Okay, let's go back. But uh, but I was just trying to give it a prime example of what, what how it, 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 you know, you need people. Just stay on this side right here. Stay on this side. Yep, be careful. Look out for the car, but... uh. But yeah, so my job is to try to fulfill that prophecy and get my old blood back, in which I got it out of these puppies, that double bred sister and brother, 
that'll bring a lot of good stuff for my stuff back like lackey's cuddle uh lackey's diego lackey's honey uh so and, and that's what i want to bring some of my old dogs back and like i say a lot of times my my line is pretty much like a six-way cross but a lot of people say it's scatterbred which i don't care you know um because it's, it's some good stuff some good scatterbred stuff that's that's um that's working but a scatterbred dog mean because i've seen this up online all it means is is um you breeding another good dog with another good dog that's all you just keep doing that so you don't really have no family core of dogs but now we got some scatterbred stuff down this way that we got <clears throat> uh but what they done over the x amount of years and like this this bloodline is like 20 years old they just bred three dogs that was in that scatterbred dog. So now them, out of them three dogs, they bred back to back to back to back and made that a family core of dogs. You feel what I'm saying? So now it's a family core. It went from scatterbred to a family core of dog. I mean, some people might say, oh, it's still scattered. Nah, they taking them three remaining dogs. If you see them, them three remaining dogs in that pedigree multiple times, then you don't start pretty much. Uh, making a family core dog. Now you starting to lock in them traits, regardless if it's scatterbred or not. So, um, but like I say, man, I'm here to try to fill that prophecy um, on my end, not for nobody else. See, when you breed, you always breed for yourself first. You know, you don't breed to just go out here and you know get the money. And ain't nothing wrong with having a money, um, a vision for money, or what you want to make on your dog. Ain't nothing like, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's like, like I said in earlier, what I was saying about the small business. They got a vision of what they want to make annually and what they can do for the next year to push them out. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do the next year. So me giving, letting some of these dogs go. And uh, when I kept, you know, like I say, being 10 and all that whole litter, and I was able to sell one sister that I really didn't want to sell. Man, she was nice. I really didn't want to sell her. But um, but I ended up selling her anyway, so. Um, and then I'm now I'm selling Ben 10 now. I don't really got nothing that that whole litter gone But I already knew what I said I was gonna do I said I'm gonna keep them at a certain time and I'm gonna get rid of them So now the whole litter, but I will be getting um, offsprings back out of all uh, Ben 10 Maria Christina, I'm, I'm gonna be getting offsprings back over there. So that'll be something good that I can sit back and um, monitor and I can sit back and examine um, these dogs or whatnot so it's going to be a win-win for me. So I'm trying to fulfill this prophecy. And I know what this Lonzo Green with Eli Bolio go. Um, come on. I know what this Lonzo Green with Eli Bolio um, brings to the table when, when when crossing it with other good families aligned. It's bringing out better, better athletes. You can use your back. Remember, use your back paddle. Use, you, use your back thing. What? Yeah, come on. Um, I know what they, the, the capability of bringing these dogs that I know, I know what it brings, you know, to the table. Like one of my, my homeboy before he, what happened to him, the Slim Jim guy, he told me, said, and I had the pedigree uh, and I wish I could have saved it to my, my storage. He said he bred his uh, Slim Jim line to a, 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 a wild side dog. He said, man, out of seven dogs, six, six was able to go out and do good. So that tells you the core value of uh, uh, when you start really uh, outcrossing these dogs, just another good bloodline, and what's the possibility that they can make to, to better your line and to better both of them lines in, in the future. So that's what I'm all for. I'm all for the breed, man. So I want to, you know, uh, be completed in that. Um, and and sometimes, you know, we at a standstill or where we incomplete, like where we don't know which direction to go. But all it is, man, you just got to go back in that pedigree and keep seeking, seeking, seeking what really made these dogs. So if you got them two foundation dogs that's, that, that's, that's, that made these dogs, you're going to try to find some siblings that you can go back to them foundation dogs to, to keep um, trying to uh, get them family of dogs, them foundation dogs up close. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what the Slim Jim guy, he said he was he was wanting like 100% of his line to be at 100%. So his the foundation dog where he started with was the the be, the Dan, the Dan, um, the Danny boy and the Betty Bop. So, you know, and then now we got 
um, a breeding that they did online with um, they got they got that that stuff up close by doing one breeding together and putting a male which was Demon Lido and they put um, I can't I forgot the female name but it was something but anyway it brings it brought Dan and Betty back up like 31.25. So they right back up there now, even though they descended and gone, but they still in them in, in, in them dogs. So, man, it's a beautiful thing once you get to start really understanding it and, and tackling things that you don't know. Um, and I like I said, I don't know everything anyway, but I'm still going. I'm evolving every day. Every day I get a chance to wake up, I'm going to try to be better in me, my my my, my family, uh, you know, my 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 livelihood. Uh, you know, my, my kennel or whatever, oh, man, I'm reaching, I'm trying to maximize that time and that goal to be great. And, um, and the only way you're going to be able to do it is unless you take the time out. So I'm trying to fulfill my prophecy, man, to, to have overall better dogs, man, and um, um, competitive athletes. You know, when you get something over here, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we all try to go to that big name and sometimes we go into that big name don't mean nothing you got somebody that's around here i don't said this plenty of time you got somebody around here that has uh that's locally that have same quality a name same quality of dogs but you rather go for that name and ain't nothing wrong with that now don't get me wrong because you you got to pay where you stay and you're going to spend the money what you want to spend to have quality. And but I think a lot of time we over we over uh, lap these local people like me. Probably I'm probably one of the local small people that got good stuff that don't want to give it a chance. And be like, oh, I ain't going to that, you know, uh, or I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? And, and these dogs be on the same level as them, man. But they just never get a chance. But uh but yeah, I ain't gonna hold up y'all time, but I'm just trying to fulfill a prophecy, just trying to um, put these dogs back together like I need to put them back together, and um, I think I'm gonna do it. I got some big plans for the future that's gonna really, yeah, that's gonna uh, help me stand out. And then keep this right here. You keep your scooter right here. We're gonna go in. You're going to stand on the porch because I don't want the dogs to jump on you. I'm going to go get you something to drink. But uh, the dog's in the house. Uh, just come up here. Come on. Uh, come and stand on the porch. Feel that? But, um, but yeah, man. And so, you know, and the only way you're going to be able to fulfill that prophecy unless you, you know, you take the time out to dig. You keep seeking, seeing what's going on with your yard. Um... And, and trying to improve every day and try to modify every day on your yard to see what how you can um, do certain blends, certain combinations. And, um, you know, it, it's, man, it, it's a beautiful thing when you start fulfilling it and you're seeing it's coming alive. So that's what I'm at right now, man. And like I say, I've been doing really, really extensive research over the last couple of years. So now I, I pretty much say, you know, the Williams dogs, they can go good with this wild side stuff. So, out of all that stuff. So, if I breed, just say if I breed this this double, um, this uh, this uh, this double bred brother and sister stuff, I'm about. To, you got something to drink for? Huh? You got something to drink for? For who? The baby. What baby? Oh. Yeah. That's sure. Mm hmm. But yeah, so if I go back to some some wild side stuff and put back up in there that's going to complement it because i know that breeder williams bred is called the dog was named williams gip gipsy and they bred to some wild side dogs man and i know they bred out some phenomenal dogs and when you see that color or you see red blue you know pretty much they 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 going to be something phenomenal about them dogs that 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 um why they were um colored like that and that pedigree so but I'm just taking the time out. Like I say, man, I did it. I'm going to do another video. I'm fulfilling my prophecy um, <coughs> by doing what I'm doing. And I know these puppies that I'm getting right now. Um, she right over here. They going to uh, they gonna, they gonna help me fulfill that prophecy. And 
I got another um, dog that I'm going to be getting that came off of my stuff. <clears throat> what? Yeah, I just told you I'm going to give you something to drink. Here. <clears throat> when she get her hair done? She been had her hair done, but, uh, <clears throat> but uh, definitely going to fulfill that privacy. Uh, when I when these little pups or whatever I got, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast to watch it uh, unfold, unravel, and um, we're gonna do some big and greater things. So, you know, um, I went back. Like I say, another thing, I went back to the old school prices, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars. I'm cool with that. You know, long as these dogs able to get to a good hand, they be able to be used the way they need to move. Hey, so. Yes, sir. I think that's about it. I think I'm about to wrap it up. But, uh, but yeah, because I don't want to get too, too, because I think right now a lot of these videos that I don't done, I can really talk. Like, I'm starting to really learn how to, and that's what I've been been, been um, training myself to do, this talk and it, um, being able to talk in front of people and being able to say the right things and be able to answer questions. I like doing that, too. Um, but But that's where I'm at right now. So I think I'm going I'm to be able to uh, fulfill that prophecy by, you know, just to continue, just to keep seeking, getting in that pedigree, and um, just keep uh, evaluating these dogs, seeing how they're going to turn out. Because like I say, these dogs, this bloodline with the Sinclair, with the Wilkins line, it's only like four years old. It's going on five because Ralph them will be five in April of next year. So it'll be five years old and it's, it's gonna start showing wonders, um, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do to create wonders, create greatness, and uh, make sure I keep getting getting good results. And I'm gonna say everything ain't gonna be good, but if it's not good, just come back and bring it back to me, and we'll work something out. That's that's what I'm about, man. So hopefully this is a good video for y'all. But fulfill your prophecy, man. If you got something, don't give up on nothing. Um, if you got some some stuff that you got for somebody, and if it's watered down, how can you get this? So that's a whole nother content by itself how can you get some watered down stuff and get it back to to revive that watered down stuff and i may do a video up on that um you know but i hope y'all really enjoyed it man i try to take my time out to do these videos whatever come to my mind i try to instantly put it on this video and then being able to share it with y'all guys man it's a beautiful thing thank you for the comments and all the people that's been showing the love that i've been conversating with um, since the last, probably like the last month or so, taking the time out to listen to these videos, man. And, and uh, we only going to get better from here. We only going to keep getting greater. Yep, I had a little stagnant stage, you know, but now I'm over that. We, it's, it's time to get back on, on the ball and getting these dogs back, back, back in their wellness back up. And so that way I could do like a little yard tour. And uh, like I say, I'm going I'm to give, I'm going to promise I'm going to do that, and, but it's going to probably take about maybe x amount of months just to get it make sure I'm, i got everything all my duck is lined up all my t's crossed my eyes dotted with that so i could do a little yard tour and uh you know just making sure everything good man but all right y'all having a wonderful day this is all wheel kennels at your services man um we all about you know keep sharing um good healthy positive um attitudes and um living habits we all about that, and I'm all about the breed. Yep, all about the breed. Peace.